they accuse the press and people like us of oh, being obsessed with them. I would actually just throw that right back in their faces and say, why are you so obsessed with our royal family? Why are you so obsessed with all the negativity? And you mentioned it right at the start here. We'll come back to it. No word on Endgame. So they're able to go and, and hit back at TMZ and say, ah, look, our finances are fine. Ah, we're not really losers. Well, hang on a minute. There was a book that came out that basically accused two of your relatives of being racist. And you've been completely silent on that. I know it's not a good reflection on their character. Um, I, I'd say that... They had plenty of time to end the drama surrounding Endgame. The ultimate results were a major fail here in the States. You know, 6,000 sold in the UK, 9,000 copies sold in the United States. I mean, what was all of the chaos for? And um, I do think that they're being humbled right now. I mean, there's mm -hmm. no way that that they're looking around thinking that that they're, things are going in, in the right direction or that things are going their way. They're being humbled right now. And um, when, when people leave me comments saying, stop being mean, my first reaction is, yes, I agree. I wish Harry and Meghan would leave the royal family <laughs> alone. 100%. They would blossom in their brand if they would be more positive and count their blessings instead of worrying about the lip gloss that Kate reluctantly did actually share with Megan one time. <gasps>